Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. Today we are talking about a post effect with inside Redshift called Streak. It applies streaks or glints to the highlights of your scene and it's really good for doing look development and getting an idea of what your final output might look like in comp. So let's jump in and see what it's all about. Okay, so the streak effect. The streak effect is a post effect with inside Redshift. And for those of you who don't know, post effects are something that happens after your 3D has actually been rendered. Um, it doesn't actually live inside uh, the 3D world. It's kind of like a, a fake effect that's overlaid on top after the fact. Uh, if any of you are familiar with uh, Toon Shader, um, it's kind of like that within Cinema 4D, where it applies at the very end. Um, so within Redshift, there's a handful of these post effects uh, that they have. And uh, today we're gonna to be talking about the streak. So the streak is something where um, it'll, take, it'll take your highlights or the hottest points um, in your geometry or in your scene and it'll add a streak to it. It's kind of like a glint and it's, uh, it's very similar to like a star glow within After Effects. Um, so let's see how we use it. So if you come over here uh, to your IPR window and you click on the settings icon over here, you'll see it opens up a new window. And inside that window, um, we have a bunch of different post effects uh, that we can use. But in this case, we're gonna be talking about the streak. So what I wanna do is I wanna go to the streak and I'm gonna click it on. And instantly you're gonna see, it's gonna find some of the hottest parts of uh, my scene. And in this case, you know, I, I really amped up the, uh, the grill on, uh, on the skeleton to, to make it pop. Um, but within here, we have uh, different options. So what if this was too hot for us? Cause obviously this is, this is extreme right now cause I'm trying to show the effect. Um, so what you can do is you can mess with your threshold uh, and your threshold basically just tells it how hot of highlights to look to look at. So uh, the further we drag it up, then um, it's going to look less and less at the highlights that aren't as hot. Um, so that's what that does, essentially your power. Uh, your tail is just the length of it. So it's, it's how long it is. And I'm going to crank this up just so we can really see it. Um, softness is just that, uh, so if I turn it, the softness all the way down, you see the really hard streaks. Um, and then streak number is just that, so now we get like an anamorphic flare whenever we go around. If we put it to one, two, we'll do like a cross. Again, it's very similar to, uh, to Star Glow and After Effects. And then your angle, so your angle, if you just come here and twirl it, uh, that's what it does, it turns the angle. And intensity is intensity. Um, and again, you know, if I turn the threshold up here, kind of dial it in, turn the intensity down, maybe turn the streak up and then turn this, then you kind of just get it kind of kissing, right? You don't want it to be too strong because that's when it becomes like super cheesy. Um, and even this is probably a little too strong, but I think for our purposes, that's kind of nice when it goes around for our purposes, it'll do. Um, all right, so what happens when you render it? So as I mentioned, it is a post effect. So I wanna show you what happens when, it, when, we, uh, when we render this. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna switch my output to something a little bit smaller so it renders fast. And you'll see Redshift post effects are enabled. And uh, yeah, so we have these right here. Um, and then within our streaks, you can see these are all of our settings that we set. Uh, so I guess you can come in here and also change them. I didn't even think about that, but let's try. Yeah, so you can also adjust them here. So I'm learning too. Um, so yeah, so cool, you can adjust them in here. Uh, but honestly, you don't really, this doesn't really matter. It's just telling you that it's on right now. Uh, so let's go to our multi-pass, excuse me. Let's go to our output and that's cool. And then let's just render and let's see what happens. Okay, so as we're rendering, what you're gonna see is that um, the effect is not gonna be applied until the very end. So by now we should already be seeing some sort of uh, streak happening. So right there at the very end it applies it. So, um, so that's pretty much how it works. And to my knowledge, there is no way to render this out as a separate pass. Uh, if there is, please let me know, I couldn't find it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a very good way to, to pre-visualize um, what you might do in comp for the future. Uh, for me, I think it's always better to do this type of work after the fact um, in comp. I think it's, you have way more control and you can just really dial things in, uh, you know, how, how you want them to be dialed in. Um, so that would be my suggestion for that is, is to do this, just use this as a guide. Don't, I wouldn't really use this for my final look. Um, this is just kind of gives me an idea how things might work. Um, cool. Well, that's going to do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next one.